This is the Iowa Weather Report for Thursday, July the 30th, 2015. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run at 1 p.m. this afternoon. We have a ridge over the south and west. It'll be keeping the temperatures fairly warm to downright hot there. A northwesterly flow around here is going to keep our temperatures fairly uniform and fairly seasonable to maybe a tad below seasonal levels. With this big low pressure center swirling over Canada, that'll continue to move off into eastern Canada and the Maritimes, with a front dragging across the New England states into the mid-Atlantic with some showers and storms there. But here, sunshine and highs in the 80s with low dew points continuing. Dew points will be a bit higher here on Friday, and the temperatures will be a degree or two higher, but there'll still be plenty of sunshine around, maybe a cloud or two around, some cirrus clouds around, with reading still mainly in the 80s to around 90. And then as we go into the weekend, we start to get a little bit of activity coming in. You can see here on Saturday midday, it's fairly quiet, but a low pressure center is going to be coming in from the north and west, and that could trigger some showers and thunderstorms during the overnight hours Saturday night into early on Sunday. By Sunday at 1 o'clock, you can see there's nothing across the state. There's a few showers and storms possible off to our east. Monsoonal flow continuing over the southwest and a couple of showers and thunderstorms across the southeast which do continue as we move into Monday. Still can't rule out a nice little shower storm Sunday night into early on Monday and then Monday during the day it's going to be fairly fine. High still in the 80s. Dew points will be a bit up there again but they'll drop off here Tuesday as you'll see a frontal system digging in across the Great Lakes. You can see the frontal system across the Ohio River Valley through Missouri. That could cool temperatures back into maybe the upper 70s in our northeastern counties, 80s elsewhere. But then that front tries to move back north and eastward, and that could trigger some more showers and thunderstorms by midweek across the state, or midweek next week. So we'll fine-tune that as we get closer to the time period. As we move to next Thursday, you can see we have a trough over the north and west. We have a trough over the New England states and the eastern Great Lakes and a ridge over the plains down into the south and west. And that's trying to poke its way in to try to bring temperatures back up into the eight, upper 80s to lower to mid 90s. But that looks to stay south of this uh, shower and thunderstorm activity across South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, and into southern and western Illinois. So if this happens to move a little bit further to the north, it could be drier and much warmer. Speaking of much warmer, going into the extended period around the 10th of August, Maine storm track has now moved well up into Canada. The ridge kind of overspreading the state. However, it's still kind of away from us a little bit, at least the center of it. So we should see temperatures fairly close to seasonal levels, maybe a bit warmer off to our south and west and our southwestern counties. But we're still going to be close enough to the, the main storm flow to see some showers and storms possible. Or possibly, and at the end of the forecast around the 14th, storm track still near the U.S. Canadian border, but we're still close enough that we still could see some showers and storms around, but they're not going to be as numerous as they will be the, over the next about week to 10 days. But as you can see here, there would be the GFS showing a little bit of activity around. Monsoonal flow continuing over the southwest, air mass storms across the southeast, and a frontal system moving away from the state across the Great Lakes into the Appalachians. Speaking of that, the satellite image from last evening shows that clearly. Showers and thunderstorms of the few clouds across the Appalachians back into the Great Lakes. A couple of air mass storms in the southeast moving into the Gulf. And the monsoonal flow continuing over the desert southwest. The watch warning map from last evening looks fairly quiet. Some flash flood watches across Southern California, especially in the deserts and across New Mexico. Red flag warnings and heat advisories in the northwest and also some heat advisories in the south. And speaking of heat and flash flooding, the QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Monday evening at 7 o'clock, showing rainfall around here, maybe about a half an inch, isolated inch totals, heaviest across Florida and across the south and west where they could get some monsoonal heavy rains.